Many of the EU's achievements and regulations can only be understood by looking at their long history. Germany is taking the councils and other events during the German EU Council Presidency as an opportunity to take a look back at the emergence of different policy areas in the European Union. And at the same time they ask, how can the EU develop further in this area? And in this case, how did the EU's common foreign and security policy come about and what challenges will be about in the future? These questions are answered by the series Looking Back, Looking Ahead by the German EU Council Presidency. The European Union has international weight. This became clear again recently when two important informal meetings were on the agenda. In order to develop uniform positions, the foreign ministers of the member states of the European Union regularly exchanged views on foreign policy issues with the framework of the Common Foreign and Security Policy, the CFSP, chaired by High Representative Josep Borrell. The so-called Gimnich meeting recently took place in Berlin, which is traditionally a foreign policy highlight of every EU Council presidency. By the way, I made a video about this meeting itself only two weeks ago. The defense ministers also met in the same week for an informal exchange within the framework of the Common Security and Defense Policy, which is part of the CFSP. The current structure of the CFSP goes back to the Treaty of Lisbon from 2009, the basis of which was prepared during the last German EU Council Presidency in 2007. But what was it like before? When the first steps towards European unification were taken in the early 1950s, there was still no question of a common foreign and security policy. After the establishment of the European Communities, the EC, by the Treaties of Rome in 1958, an informal one emerged political cooperation between governments of common foreign trade issues. From the beginning of the 1970s, this established itself as European political cooperation, the EPZ. In order to establish an open and trusting exchange, an informal meeting of foreign ministers took place for the first time in 1974 at Gimnich Castle near Bonn, which was felt to be so effective that it became a tradition. At that time, by the way, Bonn was the capital of Germany. It was a long time before the unification. To this day, an informal meeting of the foreign ministers takes place during each EU Council Presidency in the so-called Gimnich format, which goes back to that first meeting near Bonn. The creation of the CFSP, European Political Cooperative, gradually developed into a living political practice of European cooperation beyond the treaties, which was finally placed on a legal basis for the first time in 1984 with a single European Act, the EEA. With this treaty, the heads of state and government in Milan not only declared their common intention to found a European Union, cooperation in foreign policy was also included in the European treaties for the first time. Political cooperation reached a new level with the Maastricht Treaty in 1993, as it established the common foreign and security policy in a treaty. The CFSP ensured that Europe was able to act on foreign and security policy issues, for example through the formulation of common positions and the possibility of joint actions. It was gradually expanded after the deficits that became clear in the Yugoslav Wars of the 1990s. Against the background of this experience with the Treaty of Nice in 2001, the Europeans created common defense policy instruments for the first time, including the EU Military Committee and the EU Military Staff, the Politico Military Group and the Committee on Civil Aspects of Crisis Management. With the Treaty of Lisbon in 2009, another major step was taken in the development of common European foreign trade. The Office of the High Representative for Foreign Affairs and Security Policy, supported by and led by the newly created European External Action Service, enabled greater coherence and continuity in European foreign policy and gave Europe's voice internationally weight. The prospects of the CSF, CFSP, the world has changed considerably since the beginning of the common European foreign policy. The EU has grown from 12 to 27 members. The geopolitical and geostrategic priorities are about to fundamentally change. New players appear on the international stage 
and the global situation is characterized by geopolitical competition and new uncertainties. Today more than ever it is a matter of defending human rights, democracy and the rule of law. After an informal video conference of the foreign ministers on August 14th and the special meeting of the European Council on Belarus a few days ago, the situation in Belarus, the Eastern Mediterranean, Libya and other current topics will be discussed over again and were discussed again in Gimnich. The EU's relationship with Russia and Turkey is also was on the agenda again. The current political situation shows how important it is to work towards a rule-based, solidary, sustainable and multilateral international order. The German EU Council Presidency is advocating this because Europe is needed more than ever as an actor of stability and as an active and creative force. And if you want to see more videos about European or global politics, right here is the button to subscribe to my channel if you want to be notified when I publish another video on that. If you want to see something right now, YouTube has chosen another of my videos right here for you. I'll see you in my next video. Click and enjoy. Viel Spaß!